today we will look at two parallel lines A and B. Parallel meaning they have the same slope so they're going to continue on forever and never touch. These two lines are crossed by a transversal. There are five different types of angle relationships present in this situation. First, we have angles that are in the same position, like 1 and 5, but are on different lines. These are called corresponding angles. So angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding. Other examples of corresponding angles are angle 2 and angle 6. So angle 2 is in the bottom right corner and angle 6 is in the bottom right corner, but they're on different lines. Continuing on, we have angle 3 and angle 7, as well as the pair of angle 4 and angle 8. Now, let's look at an example of two corresponding angles. In this case, 120 degrees and the mystery angle are corresponding. They're in the same position on different lines. Corresponding angles are always congruent, meaning they have the same angle measure. So that means that the mystery angle must be 120 degrees. Next, we will consider alternate interior angles. So first of all, what is an interior angle? Well, an interior angle is an angle located between the two parallel lines or on the inside of the two parallel lines. In this case, the interior angles are 3, 4, 5, and 6. So how do we know which ones are alternate interior and which ones are same side interior? Well, alternate and same side refer to the sides of the transversal. So, in this case, notice how angle 3 is on the opposite side of the transversal from angle 6. That means that angle 3 and angle 6 are considered to be alternate interior angles. Other examples of alternate interior angles are angle 4 and angle 5 because they are both inside of the parallel lines and they are on opposite sides of the transversal. Remember alternate or same side angles cannot be on the same vertex. They must be on different lines. Now, let's look at the relationship between alternate interior angles. Notice how both the 38 degrees and the mystery angle are the acute angle on the line. Therefore, they're actually going to be congruent. They are going to have the same angle measure. So the mystery angle is 38 degrees. Next, let's look at alternate exterior angles. We said that alternate means on opposite sides of the transversal. Exterior means on the outside of the parallel lines. So in this case, we might have angle 1 and angle 8, or angle 2 and angle 7. Notice how 
they are on opposite sides of the transversal, so opposite sides of this line, and they are exterior or outside of the parallel lines. So 2 and 7 are alternate exterior. Next, let's have a look at an example. Notice how, in this case, 100 degrees and the mystery angle are alternate exterior angles. They are both the obtuse or bigger than 90 degree angle formed when the transversal crosses the two parallel lines. Therefore, they must be congruent angles. That means that they will have the same angle measure and the mystery angle is 100 degrees. Next, we will look at same side interior angles. Once again, interior means it's on the inside, like angle four. And same side means it's on the same side of the transversal. So in this case, angle four is paired up with angle six. That means that angle three will be paired up with angle five. Looking at the example, the mystery angle and 130 degrees are same side interior angles. Notice how one of these angles, the mystery angle is the acute angle, smaller than 90 degrees, and the other is the obtuse angle. That means they will not be congruent. They will actually be supplementary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. So the mystery angle plus 130 degrees will give us 180 degrees. If we subtract 130 from both sides, we get the mystery angle is 50 degrees. Our final type of angle relationship is same side exterior angles. Same side meaning same side of the transversal and exterior meaning outside of the parallel lines. That means that angle one will be paired with angle seven because they're on the same side and they're both exterior. And angle two will be paired with angle eight. So angles two and angle eight are same side exterior angles. Now let's look at an example. The mystery angle and angle 30 are same side exterior angles. Notice how that the mystery angle is obtuse, but 30 degrees is acute. That means that our angles will be supplementary. They will add up to 180 degrees. So the mystery angle plus 30 degrees will give us 180 degrees. Once again, we have a one-step equation, so all we have to do is subtract 30 to get the mystery angle by itself, and we're left with the mystery angle is 150 degrees.